Cancer. Hi, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome to my channel. I'm your host, Tina. Today we are going to be doing your upcoming weekly tarot. This one will be for roughly February 8th to the 14th. Let's go ahead and give your cards a few shuffles here. I do like to pull two layers. The first one is really just to get an idea of the general energies that are happening for you. Then we will go in, get a second layer, and clarify each of those energies. Now, I am doing something a bit new. As I pull the card, I will be putting up a photo here for you guys to kind of be able to follow along. Just look at the cards, see them a little bit more clearly. We are testing it, so don't go getting attached. Um, we will see how we like this. All right, let me go ahead and shuffle these cards. I do pre-shuffle, but it is nice to do it here on the camera with you. Helps me tune into your energies as well. All right, this is for Cancer. February 8th to the 14th. Let's see what's happening for you. Okay. I'm gonna stop here. Wheel of Fortune is at the bottom. All right. Changes, movement. Ace of Wands, I love it. Death in the recent past, overall energy, king of pentacles. Yeah, I mean, hello, changes with the Wheel of Fortune, death being in your recent past, Ace of Wands being the situation here. Obvious changes are here. Um, new beginning is here. At the very least, you have the, um, and I feel like it's within yourself more than anything, Cancer. Like, I don't think this is something that's in the material world right now. It really feels like, first of all, it's within yourself. Really, because we have death and the Ace of Wands here. And so death is usually death of the ego, right? Like letting go of an old version of ourselves, some old familiar way of being. You know, it could be a habit. It could be the way we respond. It can be a mental pattern here. But there's something that's like that was outdated and it was time to kind of shed that skin. And the Ace of Wands being the situation here, you know, this is... A personal reboot right this is like let me have a little bit of a fresh start it's a hitting you know um, restart within yourself like kind of getting the juices back up getting the spark back the fire within with the ace of wands it's like there's a seed here right and you have the passion and you have the willpower to manifest this for yourself to bring this maybe version of yourself to life but there's a newness here right within yourself and there's a lot of passion with it as well. In the challenge position, we have the hermit. I mean, the hermit talks about like, you know, maybe you've felt very like isolated and like you haven't been moving, but things are moving. You know, with the wheel of fortune being at the bottom of the deck, it may not be as obvious. It can be more of an underlying energy, but things are moving and you just may feel like you were overwhelmed by thoughts in the recent past with the hermit. Um, you know it's ruled by virgo right it's ruled by analytical thought and the hermit goes and isolates himself because he's been through a lot recently just like you have especially with the death being present and when you go through a lot right it just so many thoughts come in right it can be overwhelming and so that's why you have to kind of take that step back to decompress it right so that they don't take over your mind like you almost put them on a like a virtual shelf and so they're there but they're organized now right they're not just like random thoughts throughout the day just poking through your mind um, and you might be in that energy and you might just feel like you've been in that energy and you're like ugh, i'm ready for the wheel to be moving and it is it is because you do have a sense of like overcoming something i don't know if it's within yourself within your situation um but you got a sense of like really victory on your mind and victory because there's something you're dealing with and you're like i gotta overcome this i really need to like have success in this right where your mind is at and what you're focused on we got the page of cups very beautiful very open right all the pages are students so there's an openness to learning right there's an openness to exploration and you're even like permission to explore a little bit it's kind of you're like okay I need a more um, playfulness. There's more playfulness with this energy that you have on your mind. Maybe you're wanting to bring that in because you're coming from a bit of a heavier place. You do wanna also have an open heart here. You wanna be more trusting, like you don't wanna be jaded based on these past experiences. 
And that's kind of what's on your mind is that playfulness, right? Is that gentleness of the soul. Your approach, you know, I already kind of talked about with that six of wands, but you know, there's something here that you obviously want to overcome and you're in that position and you're in that energy to do so. There's a lot of passion here too, like ace of wands, six of wands, three of wands in your environment. Something in your environment I feel like is really like out of your comfort zone, but in a good way, in a good way with the three of wands, right? Either that or like there's a waiting energy. You're like waiting for your ships to come in because you've put some plans, you've taken some actions here. And now you're like standing there like, where is it at? I did all the work. Where are my ships, right? Either way, it's a very, po I love the three of wands energy. It also means that you're just like standing at this high vantage point here. And you're really having the ability to see upcoming challenges, upcoming opportunities here. So it's really great energy. Coming towards you is the page of pentacles. So there's like a new reality here. Like it is a lot of newness because, you know, but we got two pages here. So there's a very open energy on your spread as well. Yeah, you're coming from a heaviness, but it's like you're entering more of a lighter period. It, yeah, is there still something to overcome? There is, but you're entering a lighter period. Let's go ahead and clarify. Let's go ahead and clarify these energies. Your overall energy is the King of Pentacles. It's very dedicated, very stable, very committed, very invested. God, the star is like really wanting to come out but let me shuffle a bit let's clarify for you cancer you know you got the page of, all right we're gonna take it page of wands three pages page of cups page of wands page of pentacles you are permission to explore you are in some new place you got a lot to learn there's a lot to discover there's a lot of this path that lays before you there's a lot yet to be discovered. All right, let's 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 keep clarifying. King of Cups is at the bottom. Yeah, Two of Swords is in the challenge position. Yeah. Page of Cups showed twice. Yeah. Oh, God, it's difficult, this ending for you. It's difficult. Um, you know, your overall energy is the King of Pentacles and the King of Swords, right? Like, this is like strategy but with the king of swords right like you're ready to like cut some stuff out that are not serving you right like and you're ready to have you have the mental capacity and strength to do so it's like you're also using your life experience here and you're really thinking very deeply about where you are going to invest your energy where are you going to invest your energy here situation is a page of wands and the ace of wands i just feel like you're looking at some new reality now again it's definitely related to your own inner will right your the own fire within you the own spark and light within you it's definitely related to that because again you're coming from a super heavy place something could have just weighed so heavy on you maybe the the ending to it was just too much the situation here maybe you were taking on too much burden too much responsibility that wasn't yours to carry and like you're like oh god i need the passion the fun you know that playfulness back in the page of wands is like you're looking in a new direction now and you're just like you're ready to explore something new here something out of your comfort zone here and you're having an openness within yourself but there is also like this struggle because it's hard to let something go it's hard to let the familiar go right the sense of like belonging and home it, it, there's something hard about it to let go and in and, and the challenge position we have the two of swords with the hermit there's a crossroads here right you feel like you're at a crossroads you feel like you're at a personal crossroads within your life and you're just like and it, it's it's needing to decompress there's a lot of mental activity here especially with the hermit and maybe you're just you know it's, we got the nine of swords here too so i feel like the hermit now speaks to me more of like needing to get into that hermit energy because like there's a lot of mental activity but the hermit decompresses those thoughts right like if it's been like a lot of pressure building up this is the ability to like kind of let them out let them flow a little bit so it doesn't feel as heavy um and and it's it's a need to do that right you know the hermit isolates himself takes some time alone spends time with himself so that he can really just think about everything that's been happening right no distractions, none of that. Just spend time with your own energy. Listen to the thoughts come up that come up. Listen to, you know, feel the emotions that come up. You know, trying to understand them, right? Um, 
it's kind of what the hermit is so it's like I would only say like just try to remove distractions and basically spend time with you listen to yourself see what you're going through see how you're feeling right what do you really want is it fear that's stopping you it's like anything like that on your mind yeah you want to bring the fun back in the gentleness back in because it's been lacking there's been a real heaviness um, I want to say in the recent past but it's it's still present it's still present, even though there's a lot of hope and renewal energy for you here, Cancer. It's still present, though. You got the Seven of Pentacles for where your mind is at and what you're focused on. And that's like that reevaluating energy because you're like, where am I going to keep investing my energy? Because there's something here that you've been pouring yourself into, right, for some time. It could be a relationship. It could be a situation. It doesn't matter. But there's something here you have been pouring a lot of yourself into for some time, and I say that because it's not like you were looking for quick results. No, not with the Seven of Pentacles. But something here is just hasn't been a return on investment, right? Like it's not where it should be. It's not where it should be. And it's got you kind of taking that bird's eye view and looking at the big picture of your life and asking, what's here? What's going to stay with me for the long run? What is worth all of my really beautiful energy right cancer you have such a nurturing energy relationships mean so much to you family means so much to you right there's a nurturing quality to you and so yeah like where are you going to give all that beautiful energy and something is difficult to like let go um it's, but it's weighed very heavy on you like the ending or the idea of an ending has been very difficult for you your approach we have the six of wands um, clarifying that we have the eight of pentacles right you could just be um, really focused on work right now kind of just really dedicated to your craft or you're trying to master a craft here but it's very hard working committed dedicated energy and that's basically with you even though there's a sense of renewal um, it's like three three energies that stand out strongly the energy of something's really ending here an energy of like renewal and hope in a new direction and an energy of commitment like serious commitment on your part, serious dedication, serious hard work. The Eight of Pentacles, it's like it's almost like you want your sacrifices to have paid off with that Six of Wands, right? But you got victory and success on your mind when it comes to overcoming the situation or the energy that is troubling you, right? In your environment, I love it. There's really just an openness here. There's really a total openness. We have the Page of Cups. So it can be like a water sign here, another Cancer, a Pisces, a Scorpio. But I just see that like maybe you're waiting for them, but there's an openness to your heart, a playfulness here, right? And really just out of your comfort zone here. But I think this out of your comfort zone feels really good, Cancer. It feels really good. Coming towards you, Page of Pentacles, clarifying that we got the Nine of Swords here, yeah. There's a new reality here that you're definitely entertaining. You're looking at it with the Page of Pentacles. You're open to it. But at the same time, it's stressing you out. It's, it's difficult to close this door here or this chapter here. There's something that feels very familiar to you. It's difficult to let go. And it's just, it's keeping you up at night. Again, you're at this, you feel like you're at this personal crossroads here. And while you're very open to this renewal and this new change in a way, it's very stressful to close some door here. And that's why the Hermit will help because I feel like overwhelming thoughts, especially with the Nine of Swords. Yeah, spend time alone. If that's difficult to do, if it's difficult to remove distractions, then it is wise to talk to somebody who creates a safe space, right? Where you can really just take those all of these heavy thoughts and just let them out of you, right? Like they're decompressed basically. All right, um, I'm going to leave it there for you, Cancer. I do hope you enjoyed this reading. If anything does resonate, like and subscribe. Thank you for letting me tune into your energies. I'll see you all next week.